Hmm, good day, Tragic here, and welcome back to turn two of Horror on the Orient Express, the board game. This is the Kickstarter preview, and the Kickstarter is actually still running, so you can jump on the bandwagon right now if you want to go get it. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I just love, I love the RPG, so I really wanted to play this game. Now, there's a lot going on in this game, and... I'm a little bit lost as to exactly how to proceed. I, I can't evaluate the threats correctly. The only real threat that I completely understand is possessed people. I mean, insane people are bad, okay? Because basically the, this ritual that the cultists are trying to pull off while we're in the dreamlands is powered by insane characters. It also has these ritual tokens that, that the cultists are trying to put down. But more the more insane people, the more powerful this sort of event is. And that's bad. Also, there's this really horrible event here. So basically, long story short, this creates possessed people. Uh, I, I always say possessed for some reason. I think an early version of the rules I read said possessed. I can't get it out of my head, but it's actually insane. Anyway, whatever. The point is this creates insane people, right? And... When, when uh, these locations are revealed, you actually place an essence on it and then you place extra essence for every insane person. And one of the losing conditions is if this essence pool depletes to zero. Plus, things that have essence on them trigger during the event phase. So you get, this will spawn monsters, this will do whatever, this will do whatever. This one here doesn't have essence, but it's like permanently got essence. I actually kind of would like a, like a different colored essence to sit on there just to remind me, but uh, whatever. The point is, I don't really know how to understand threats in this game. The, the, the big threat I see that is, besides the monsters killing people and the vampire, which is over here, is insane people, and particularly this portal here, which has uh, turns people insane. So that's gonna be my goal for this game, is to try and control the monsters, Try and uncover some more clues and clear all the essences on this. So there's three essences I need to get rid of. Now, as for the in the, the suspects, we're actually in a pretty good position. So this girl here, she has the goblet and she's only got one, you know, eye token, whatever they're called. What are these called? Feature tokens. She's only got one feature token, right? And what that basically means is if we reveal this ticket, we have a very high chance of finding out whether she's a cultist or not. Because if we look at, we know she doesn't have the fez, okay, which is the top one, because she's only got one feature token and it's not a fez. So boom, she's not a cultist because of the fez. That means there's at least one other cultist in our group because the fez is always in play, as far as I think. Because this is a tabletop similar thing, it sort of does its, it sort of, does its own setup, so I didn't set it up manually, but I'm pretty sure by the rules that there's always at least one Fez in play. Anyway, level two is if she doesn't have a Elder Sign, but she does have the Goblet and a Constantinople ticket of any color, she's also a cultist. But the thing is, she has the Goblet, and we know she doesn't have the Elder Sign, so if this ticket is a Constantinople ticket, she is a cultist. So we can reveal that we know she's a cultist. Also, the other one is four plus. So if there's four purple tiles, she's also a cultist, right? This one is not a purple tile. This one here is purple. If any of these objects, any of those tiles are not purple, she is not a cultist. So by revealing just this one ticket, we're pretty much guaranteed to know if she's not a cultist. If it's a Constantinople ticket, she's a cultist. If it's not, if it's not a purple ticket, she's not a cultist. So that's pretty cool. So that's another thing we have to do this turn. What we need to do, what I'd like to do, also over here, we've got a red monster out. So this red monster I was looking at, he actually wounds happy people, but kills anyone else. So turning one of these people happy would be really good for us. So if we can turn this cultist happy, that would make a huge difference for us. I can't really do it straight off. Yeah, none of my abilities will actually just make a possessed person happy, but a number of them can make 
the calm passenger happy. So at least we can do that. But like I said, my main priority this turn is going to be to get rid of the tokens on this thing. So let's uh, let's get into this. Now, what have we got here? Okay, so he's got this ability. She's got this ability, which is good. It can remove all essences from a monster thing. It's not really what we want, though. This one here is a very, very hard one to go off. You've got to have no passengers of any sort, and you have to have monsters next to you. That's difficult. What's the upgrade to that one called Field Experiment? Remove one monster, banish all other monsters in your car. I assume that means you can remove one from anywhere and then banish all others in your own car. So upgraded, that upgraded is very cool. Banish one monster, remove one from the leftmost active portal. That is the one I want to remove from. So if I do that, I'll have one essence. What's this one? Remove one from a chosen portal. If this portal is in the past landscape, remove an additional one. Okay, so if I do this, and I do this, I'll be able to get rid of all the essence I want to get. So that means these people are free to do talking and other things. Hopefully, let's see if we can find a way to change a state. Calm down. I need to upgrade calm down ASAP. That way I can get rid of those insane passengers. Oh, there's so much going on in this game, isn't there? It's really hard to know what to do. And the problem is I can't evaluate the frets correctly. I do have a wounded here. And I do have a panicked I know is bad as well. There's two panicked. Can she do anything about panicked? Yes, she... Oh, calm down's already been used. Okay, so what I can do here... Okay, so let's, let's just get on this. I'm going to use one move and move over here. Bam. Then I'm going to do... We should help them. Send a happy person to a chosen cart. Oh, wait. In that cart. Oh, dude, I did it wrong. Let me try that again. So I'm going to do that first, and I haven't used my move. So we're going to send a happy person to this cart, and in that chosen cart, we send someone, we send this guy into panicked. There we are. And then she's going to move in here for one. That's one energy. And then she's going to use her special ability to create a happy face out of a calm passenger, the very bottom one there. Okay. So turn this person into a happy face. And that's the end of her turn. Okie dokie. What have we got here? Blam. Ooh, vampire. It's number two. Okay. And now this goes one across. This is now in the past. Okay, now this bloke, what have he got? He can turn anyone into a calm person. So he's going to go one into here. Boom, then he's going to do talk three. Okay, let's do this. One, ooh, two, uh, three, okay. He doesn't have a very good talk ability here. Boom, ooh. Oh, actually, no, no, we still do this. Bam, uh, come on, oh, <laughs> gee. Let's go. Okay, we've got one feature reveal. I really need a train ticket. Bam. Oh, another feature reveal. Let's keep going. Bam. Second class. Gee, this is a... He's got the gift of the gab, this guy. Bam. Still, we're still going. So this is a very bad situation. I guess I can take that feature. I'm going to go one more time. One more time. One, two, three. Bam. Oh, God, it's still going. <laughs> One out of 17. One out of 17. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, push that like Boom. Ah, oh, we get the... This is a good one. So we're going to put that on ticket. So this, is, this came from one of these abilities. This ability here. This is good. This is like a wild card for the conversation bag. Very, very good token. 
Wow, that was a pretty crazy, <laughs> crazy turn. Anyway, the point is we reveal a ticket and we reveal a feature. So we're going to reveal this ticket. Blam, that like we talked about before. Boom, Constantinople and a cup. She, my friends, is a cultist, number two. And I assume that this cultist track might be different in different games. It might be different cards. Okay, so she is a cultist. Nice. I'm going to make that a little bigger just so it's nice and clear at a glance. Bamo. Right, so we've revealed our first cultist. Now we also get to reveal the feature card. One of these two is a good one to reveal because they've got less. So if we reveal all of them, we'll know whether these guys have the fez, basically. So I quite like this guy here because he can cure insane people, the psychologist. So let's um, see if he is. Let's uh, flip. Blamo. Weird tattoo. It is a purple one. Nice. Okay, so that's all that done. Wow, what a draw. Favor, one of those tokens or an artifact. I actually think I'm going to take an artifact. I really like artifacts. Bam. And what have we got? The Necromonicon, the most famous of all fictional novels. <laughs> or books, I should say, not novels. Lose a sanity, draw three random occult spells, choose one and cast it immediately for free as if you were raving mad. Awesome. That sounds powerful. We did a success, so we're going to change this guy into a you know, calm passenger. And that means when this guy goes off, it's just going to wound that, that happy face. Now, I was planning to banish him. But what I actually might do is this thing here. Lose a sanity. Instead of drawing an event chip from the bag this turn, choose any one chip from the discard pile instead. So let's do that. Because basically, there's only three events left. There's two tokens on the board here. I'm pretty sure if I draw that, it's going to set off the, the thing. And I don't want that to happen. I want to delay that a bit. So I'm going to spend a sanity and I'm going to do this thing. Let's stick it up here in the discard pile. This allows you to draw from the discard pile for the event tokens. Now, when you start the game, there's a whole bunch of tokens here that are already in the discard pile. And I th I'm not quite sure what that's for. I think it's to help the start of the game sort of get up and running you know what i mean it just gives the game a bit of time to set the board up and create the game state maybe give you a bit of time to organize yourself rather than having a lot of the bad events in well, i haven't actually looked at them let's have a look at them what's in here Ooh. oh i've seen these in the manual so these ones at the crosses are basically nothing happens you know what i'm going to do i'm going to take this one so this one is a three. We can put it on top of this one and that'll stop when we have resolved the event board. This will come off instead of the this chip and it will slow down the, uh, the passenger card deck. That seems like a good idea. And this moves forward one. Now this bloke, we know what he's going to do. We're going to go help from Papa. Remove an essence from a chosen portal. If this portal is on a past landscape, remove an additional essence from this portal, from that portal, that should say. So we go blam and we go blam. That's two essence removed from the portal because it is in the past. See, the train has gone past it. Now, We've got two of these things to go. I feel like the shit hasn't really hit the fan enough to use this spell. But I don't really, he hasn't really got a lot of great things here. Oh, you know what he's got? Interact with suspect. I haven't really done that before, have I? So why is that one? Oh, that's slightly different. So some of these, some of these tokens have this, I think it's a white version of that SS symbol at the bottom, which means that you can draw these cards and sort of do a little quest on them but we haven't really got any revealed. So what's this thing? Oh, 
Move Gene to a chosen cart and then pick someone there. That's excellent. So where is he? Just a psychologist. Oh, look, he's right up here. One, two, so no one can reach him. So what am I going to do with this guy? I've got to interact. Who else is he near? Crime fighter, master, sly boots. So sly boots isn't ticked. Master, she is not ticked. So... Who's the other one? Comic book writer. Move to a chosen carriage, reveal from a chosen person there. If I move there, then I activate the comic book writer's ability. Flip that over. Send her down to here with the psychologist. I can then flip this thing here, bloop. Okay, so he's got two weird tattoos. They're both purple. So he only needs two more purples for be a cultist. So he's got a high chance of being a cultist. But he does not have the fez. So there should be another cultist as well. I'm pretty sure this guy's a cultist, but we'll see. One, two, movement. Okay, so to recap, I did this thing, removed two essence from that portal I didn't like, and then I used two energy to move next to the comic book writer and then use her ability. Nice. Okay, let's uh, do the next tile. Yablamo. Okay, that is a four. Boom, one, two, Three. Okay, so these are all, this is activating now. So for starters, we have the vampire. This is the first time the vampire is activated. There is nobody in his cart, so he doesn't do anything. That's fine. And then see the little arrow down the bottom? It says to move to the left, but he can't move into the locomotive, so he just moves the other way. Well, that was a pretty good uh, turn for the vampire. Oh, wait, I didn't do this one. So the top one, we have the green monsters activate, blue, and then a red portal. So the green, there's no blue. The green monster activates. If the window is open, the window is open. A panicking person or a wounded person dies. There is a panicking person. So that's our first death. Blam. This is in the way. What's going on here? Try that again. Yep, so that's our first death. And then the monster moves. Blam. And then one uh, of these people goes into a panic mode. I think I'll make this person panic. The reason I did that is because the preacher can turn angry people calm quite easily. So that's the first monster activation. Then we have a blue monster activation, which there are no blue monsters. And then we have a red monster spawn there's always a spawn available so that's another red monster out that is not good we've got to really start working on these monsters then we do the vampire when nothing happens then we do the passenger card deck and nothing happens because we manually place that there and then this one adds a token to the ritual And then we move one up. Bonk. Right. Now, finally, we have this girl. Now, what is she going to do? We still need to get rid of that one piece of essence. What's this? Rationalization. Banish a monster and remove an essence from the leftmost active portal. We... That is the leftmost active portal. Where is she? She's here. Perfect. So she's going to go one and then banish. Put that in the limbo. 
So she moves one, then she does banish, and that also allows us to remove that from the portal. So this goes yonk. She has one more move available to her. The medium is there. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? This, we're actually uh, revealed the next landscape. There is one insane person. So that is one, two, and then an extra one. In each passage with an open window, send someone panicking and everyone loses a thing. Well, I'm just going to use the second ability to activate the interact. I'm going to use the medium. Remove one essence from one chosen portal. And there is a single essence on this portal. So that gets cleared. That seems like a good thing to do. And now we do another draw. Your blammo. And the train moves one last time. Okay, I think I I felt like I did well that turn. We did lose a passenger the first time. I really need to start getting rid of these monsters. Now that the vampire's here, I need to close, I need to open this window and close this window. Well, I don't need to close that one yet, but I need to open this window. Luckily he's there. There is one event in the bag still. So I would say the bag is going to, the, the event's going to trigger next turn. We've almost proved this guy is a cultist. We know he doesn't have the fez. So if all of those are not purple, we should be good. Actually, you know what I should do? I, I keep forgetting to do it. We have Constantinople ticket. We've got a goblet. We've got a doorknob. We've got a train pass. We've got a tattoo. And we've got a second tattoo. Let's have a look here. So there's a limited number of these tokens. So by marking them off this list, we can actually sort of see how this goes. So let me have a look here. He has a ticket and he has two sort of wants. So there's four purple wants still available. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six purple, six uh, non-purples. So he only needs one of them to be purple and the ticket to be purple. There is still another two purple tickets. So I, I can't rule him out. You know, what I might do is I'll, I'll try and reveal one of his wants and that'll draw a want card for him. And then we'll have a better idea what's going on. You know what I'm thinking might be a good idea is to do a cool, like I've been trying to wait until I've used, I've got uh, two chevrons released, like two upgrade paths, and then do a rest action and do lots of things, you know, on my rest, like upgrade cards. But it might be good just to do a quick rest as soon as you've got one revealed, and then I can just get a, a, a powerful upgrade earlier. And I think that might actually be a really good thing to do because there's a couple of these upgrades like, for example, Calm Down, being able to cure possessed people, that just seems awesome. And Double Cure, you know, you can do two cures at once, that just seems great. We've already upgraded one of his. And she had one here, that he had one here that I'd love to upgrade as well. Where is it? This one here, Fresh Buzz. Draw one speech token for each suspect or passenger in your, tr in your cart. Ignore all other tokens except conversation tokens. And for each unique one, reveal that type on the board somewhere. So that could really speed up getting the suspect. And she had a really good one I want to upgrade as well. This one here, not just oxide. <laughs> so basically gas everybody. Anywhere with a closed room, we can just gas them all and they all turn happy. That seems very strong. So if I if I ran that in here, every one of those would become happy. That just seems very strong as well.
Anyway, that is the end of that round, and I will see you guys next time.